Smile because it's picture day. Hey guys, it's Kendall and today I'll be doing a review on not only one doll, but three. And they are on the three picture day ghouls that I just picked out of my room and I wanted to do them. So we're just going to do them today. So I'm going to be doing Operetta, Laguna, and Julio Denial. I know this is kind of a late review, but I just love these dolls and I haven't got a chance to open them. So we're just going to get started. So on the side of their boxes, it is clear with their little pictures on the top. Then on the back, we have their little picture day page. And here is their picture day page. Feel free to pause this video and read it if you would like. And I noticed something that was really funny is that they all are hating on Toralei, so they all drew something mean on her or just weird. So Operetta drew a spider on it. On her. Sorry. Then the next one is the Laguna. We have her picture. See? They put she put water on her. Alright. Feel free to pause this. And then it has her crazy picture right here. She's so cute. All right, and last but not least, we have Leo. And obviously she drew the meanest picture of all for Toralei. Leo Denial. And there's her awesome, fierce picture. And here you go, you could read it. And also, I don't know if you guys got a clear picture of this one, so I'm just gonna show you it one more time. So you can pause this video and read it if you would like. All right, so I'm going to open these up, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, well, the ghouls are now out of their box, and can you say they look freaky fab? Well, yes, you can, because they do. So first, I'll be starting off with Operetta. She is so pretty, and the most favorite thing I love about her is her little updo right here. So I'm going to give you a close look at her real quick, and then we'll talk about her awesome features. About her makeup. Her makeup was a dark purple, well, kind of an in between, so like a lightish dark with a pink underneath it. Right there. She has dark red lipstick, and her makeup just went perfect together. I don't know if you think it, but it went perfect with her outfit and her whole day. So, moving on to her eyepiece or her mask. She has a spider connecting to the spider web, which is connecting to her heart on her mask. And I really love that. That was really cute. And then you can see her scar right here. Moving on to her outfit. She has a little, I, I don't know what these are called. I, pretty, I forgot, whatever. So she's wearing a Monster High jacket that is purple and black and white. Her outfit, she has a dress that is red and black with purple frills on the bottom. And there's music notes on the dress for the pattern, which I thought was amazing. Also, she has a little layer skirt thing going on right here that is connected to the dress. And then she has this thing right here. I forgot what this is called as well. Sorry, I'm not up on my fashion dates. Her purse is shaped like a music note, which I also loved, and there's like I guess it's kind of blood supposed to be dripping down in the red heart and I really like that. For her shoes, she had black and white shoes with black buttons. On her this shoe right here, she has oh I know you can't see it. Okay. There we go. She has a red stripe going down it. And then for her heel, it is shaped like a music note. How cute is that? And also she has fishnet socks, which were super cute and went well with her outfit. So that was Operetta. She also came with a little portfolio thing for school, which is really cute. It had the spiderweb design and a spiderweb on the top. These can open and they open like this. And they have like lines in it and this the stilet right here. And then you can close it. Like that. I also cut 
these out because I thought they were super cute. It says, I think this picture will be a hit. I know it says included fear book, but it was on the box, so I just cut it out. She also came with an awesome fear book. This is super cool. It says, property of operetta. On the front page, it says, I cast my vote. What do you think? And it has the faculty of Monster High, Headmistress Bloodgood, Mr. Hack, Mr. Mummy, Mr. Kindergerber, Mr. DF, and Mr. Verheiz. I think I'm saying some of those wrong, but whatever. So feel free to pause this video so you can read this. And on the next page, it's kind of like a do-it-yourself thing, which I really liked about this. So, class of Monster High. And you can take these stickers that they provide you and use them in the book. And look, there's invisibility. They have like some new characters on here. So that's really cool. So you can choose like the most dramatic, best dressed, most likely to succeed, and the fastest. So that's really cool and it's a great idea. And then on the last two pages, there's everybody's signature and then the picture of everybody in the yearbook. It's slow mo ball. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I loved how they did that with the stickers and everything. So now we're gonna be moving on to Laguna. So we're just gonna give you a quick look like I did before and we're gonna do use the same process. All right, so starting off with her makeup once again, she has a light pink with a teal underneath her eyes. She has a light pink lipstick, and I think that went perfect with her outfit, totally. She has little side bangs going down her face, and for her earrings, she has seashells that have like beads coming down them, which I thought was really cute. On her other earring, it looks like a piece of seaweed that is curled. That's really cute and goes perfect with her personality. Next is her dress. For her dress, she had like an under the sea theme where there is like dead fish. Okay, that's under the sea theme, okay. Okay, there's the dead fish and then there's seahorses on her dress as well. Then there's coral on her dress and the top is kind of like the mermaid tail looking thing but it's a bow and it feels super cool and I really like it. Then for her little cover up, she had a fishnet shawl. So there we go. And her belt, she had a ropish belt that was gold that went on her stomach. And her bracelets are a beaded bracelet and a pink bracelet. She also came with a purse that was pink and it kind of looked like a sea urchin to me with like seaweed coming out of it. So I thought that was really cute. She also is wearing little leggings that are really sparkly pink and I love them. They like to shimmer so much. Whoa. And then for her shoes, which is another favorite of mine, they had bubbles on them. How cute is that? So there is Laguna. She also comes with a portfolio with a little seahorse on it. How cute. All right. It opens up the same way and it has the lines on it with the skullette. She also comes with a fear book and they all come with sand if you didn't notice. These have the original characters which is really cute. Look at Draculaur and C.A. Cupid's in here, which is awesome because she is discontinued. I cast my vote. What do you think? The faculty, like before. And then this is different for her vote. So you can just pause this video and read it. The next page is the same thing. You could choose whether who's the nicest, who's the brainiest, most creepy cool, and most talkative. 
I definitely know who's the most brainiest. Who do you think it is? Yep, you're probably right, whatever you said. <laughs> it is Gulia. On the last page, it has the same exact thing. Ooh, wait, does this one have voodoo voodoo? Here, you guys can check it out while I go look on this page. Oh yeah, they're the same exact signatures. But it's still awesome and it's super cool. Moving on to our awesome and most cool school out of the school is Cleo. So I'm just gonna show you Cleo close up. I love her hands. I don't know why, they just look so perfect. They're like, oh my god. So starting off with her makeup, she has gold eyeshadow, a light gold eyeshadow on the top and a dark gold eyeshadow on the bottom. Then for her lipstick, she has dark blue lipstick. And on the side of her face, she has a blue little beauty mark thing. For her hair, she has the gold streaks in it with the teal in the bottom. Moving on to her outfit. She has like a mummified dress, which is dark blue and it has teal in it with the teal and the diamonds. And it's just crazy and awesome and beautiful. She has this big thick gold belt with some cool designs in it and a gem in it. And also she has this thing going on here. I don't know what this is, but it's like a vault that little thing. I think it's a bug of some sort, but that was her bracelet. And her leggings, she has black and gold leggings, and the gold is very sparkly. For her shoes, she, these kind of look like gladiators. They don't really, but they kind of do. She has feathers for the heel and bricks underneath the feathers, so that's super cute. And her shoes are laced. Like, well, her high heels are placed. For her purse, she has this little kind of purse. It's clear, so it's pretty cool. You can see my finger. And it opens and shuts. So yeah. That was Cleo. She also came with a portfolio as well. It, kind of, it looks like it's mummified as well on her portfolio for the design. That's what it looks like when you And this is what it looks like when you open it on the inside. It has the skillet as well, same thing, so yeah. Moving on to her fear book, our last, in, our last thing. Cast my vote. What do you think? They all have different handwriting, which I like. So these are the stickers you get. You get Slamo, yeah, baby! And then, once again, you could do it yourself. And then the same yearbook picture and signatures. Also, her last thing I forgot to show you her little card is I rule on picture day and every other day. That was super cute. And I forgot to show you Lagunas as well. I'm so sorry about that. Hers was I hope I hope this photo is in a total wash. Super cute. I hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, YouTube!